And while we're waiting for TE retraction, we'll see the clamp arms just below the fairing halves. You can see them starting to open right now. And following the clamp arms opening, the TE will begin to pull away from the rocket slightly. And then at T0, the ground hydraulic systems will pull the TE even further away from Falcon 9 as it lifts off. You can see those clamp arms opening there just below the fairing. Now the first stage is connected to a launch mount at the base of the transporter erector, but the structure is hinged, so it will retract away from the vehicle in preparation for a launch. You heard that call out earlier for the strong back retraction sequence beginning, but here in just a few seconds, you should see that strong back begin to actually recline away from Falcon 9. We are waiting for TE retraction, and it's a beautiful day in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Stage one, locks load is complete. Now at this point in the countdown, you just and heard- stage the, one, Pogo. You heard the call out that stage one, locks load is complete, and stage two, locks loading should finish up just about a minute later at T minus two minutes at which point both the first and sta second stages will be fully loaded with about a million pounds of kerosene and liquid oxygen. Now those white clouds that you see forming around the Falcon are expected. We do begin to vent the chilled gas above the LOX tank liquid surface to maintain the pressures that we need and you can see around the first and second stages that as we load that super chilled liquid oxygen, it is causing condensation and clouds to form in the humid Florida air. Second stage LOX loading should be completing here shortly. And at T minus 60 seconds. Stage two LOX load is complete. There is that call out for stage two locks loading complete. And at T minus 60 seconds, Falcon 9 will be in startup. So this means the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers will take over the launch countdown. And just inside of T minus two seconds, we light the Merlin 1D engines launch for, gas, lift up. for liftoff. The OneWeb Launch 17 payload continues to be healthy and the Falcon 9 team is tracking no issues on the rocket. Weather is looking green and the range is ready to support today's launch. We do have a backup opportunity tomorrow, March 10th at 2.08 p.m., but we are proceeding into the final minute of terminal count. Falcon 9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. LD, go for launch. We have that final go for launch. All systems are go for launch on Falcon 9 with the OneWeb Launch 17 mission payload. T minus 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just full power and lift off. One way three. Vehicle special camera. Stage one propulsion is nominal.
nominal power and telemetry. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral, carrying the one web Launch 17 payload. Now we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And coming up in just a few seconds here, we will be approaching the point of That's max Q. Q. There we go, call up for that there. At the point of max Q, we throttled the Merlin 1D engines down briefly to reduce the loads on the vehicle. We've now throttled the engines back up to full power, and this will help us continue to accelerate towards low Earth orbit. The rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per MVAC hour. MVAC engine chill has started. Good call out there for MVAC engine chill. We need to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and actually get into orbit. So keep an eye on that stage one telemetry at the bottom of your screen. Now coming up, we're gonna have five events in very quick succession. Those are main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, boost back burn, and then from there, the fairing halves will separate. So keep an eye out for those events. Again, starting with main engine cutoff, coming up on that point in just about 15 seconds here, so let's listen in for that. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there you go. You just heard and saw main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, and second engine start one. Now we are in the middle of the boost back burn, which you can see on the left side of your screen there. That first stage has flipped around and is burning three of its Merlin 1D engines to head back towards the launch site, while the MVAC on the right is pushing the second stage into low Earth orbit. Now today's mission is what we call a RTLS, or return to launch site. And that's actually where we return the first stage back to a landing pad that is actually very close to where we took off from. Now this burn should last about 50 seconds, so we have about 10 seconds left in the boost back burn. Both stages continue to look nominal. Stage one boost back shutdown. And there we go, just had confirmation of successful boost back burn shutdown. Coming up next in just a few seconds, we will separate those fairing halves and should get a good view of our payload. Fairing separation confirmed. There we go, just had successful confirmation of boost back burn end and the successful separation of both the fairing halves from the second stage. Now both of these halves on today's mission are flying for the sixth time and we will be attempting to retrieve them again today once they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Bob. We're just about at T plus a little over four minutes into today's mission and we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns before satellite deployment. Now at T plus six minutes and 10 seconds, so a couple minutes from now, you should see on your screen the first stages Both vehicles entry. are following nominal trajectories. We hope that both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Great views from the first and second stages there. Now for the entry burn of the first stage, we do relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines, which are all in a row. And this slows the vehicle down as it passes into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we do the entry burn in order to slow down to reduce re-entry re forces, which helps us to recover and reuse our first stage. And during that entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating, firing those three Merlin entry Merlin engines, but we're still moving really rapidly, so the vehicle will actually fly through its own plume and deposit some of that carbon-based fuel soot that Falcon 9 uses onto the booster. And great views of those grid fins on the first stage. 
and the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the 13th time, having previously supported multiple missions, including GPS vehicles 4 and 5, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, Nalsite 301, and seven separate Starlink missions. Entry burn starting here shortly. Stage one entry burn, start up. There is the start of the entry burn. Stage one entry burn, shut down. Good entry burn from the first stage. Stage one FTS is saved. Flight termination system is safe for stage one. You can see those attitude control thrusters on the first stage firing there. Both vehicles continue to follow normal trajectories. Both first and second stages are looking good. And our next milestone is the stage one landing bird, which is coming all the way back to landing zone one in Cape Canaveral, starting in about 15 seconds here. Stage one transonic. Stage two FTS is saved. Stage one landing burn. Start of our stage one landing burn. That's great drone footage of the first stage that you can see on the right hand side of your screen. Incredible views from first stage coming down on stage landing zone. Stage one, land deploy. That was a beautiful landing. One, of, beautiful landing of the first stage, and there you have it. That landing marks stage space. Two is the terminal guidance. That landing marks SpaceX's 177th recovery of an orbital, orbital class rocket, including the first stage landings of Falcon 9 and Heavy. And now back to stage two. Stage two is looking good with just about 10 seconds left before second engine cut off one. And back shut down. Heard that call out for MVAC shutdown. We're just waiting on confirmation of a good orbital. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard that good call out for nominal orbital insertion. The mission isn't over yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Now, after this coast phase, we will relight that MVAC engine for a second time around the T plus 55 minute mark. So we'll see you back here in about 45 minutes.